Hi guys, this is Emily and I'm just going to show you a quick tutorial on how to link a document on your blog. Now this could be any type of document, a document you've created yourself, an article you want to link to, um, a resource that you want to link to, anytime you want to link an actual document that you want people to be able to see in its entirety, not just as text in your post. My recommendation if you're going to upload documents to your blog, that you always upload them as a PDF or portable document format. The reason why I would do a PDF is a couple of reasons. Number one, PDFs preserve formatting. So any fonts that you used, um, any other formatting things that you did would be preserved when you saved it as a PDF. The second reason I would do a PDF is you can link that PDF to your blog and then anyone who finds that resource can't alter your document. So if you did a Word document and you linked to that Word document, they could change it all they wanted, claim it as their own, which you don't want to have people do. So PDFs work best. Now if you're unfamiliar how to get a PDF, most articles that you're going to link to are probably already PDFs. No big deal. Um, your own documents, I'm going to show you how to save it as a PDF. I have a Mac. It's a little bit different on a PC, but I know it has that capability. So here's the MED SMU practice blog, and I've already linked a PDF prep printable and an article. So I just wanted you to see what happens. So if I click this, linked, it's going to open Google Docs. And because of the settings I have put on this document, this document is viewable by anyone with the link. So that's why you can see this. So if you wanted this, you could go to File, and you could download, and it could be yours. But it's a PDF, so it stays in its true format. So this is what you're going to want to do. The other thing that I have linked is an article. Let's say you find a really great article with your action research and you want to include it, I clicked on the link, it opens in Google Docs, again, you can go to File, Download, and you can have it. So Google Docs is a very safe way, it's not putting the document right on your blog, it's linking it externally, but it's a good option. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to have your blog up, you're going to need to have Google Docs up, because the first thing you have to do is put the document you want to link in to Google Docs. So I'm going to minimize this real quick and I've got a document here in Word. These are the review of literature suggestions from our process in May and I want to put these on the blog. And right now it's a Word document. So I've saved it, ROLs, but I'm going to do a file, save as, and down here is my format. So instead of a Word document, I'm going to save it as a PDF. Now again on a PC this might be in a slightly different place but I know you can save as a PDF. So there's the PDF, click Save and then it's in Dropbox so my Dropbox folder wherever you saved it to there's your ROL PDF. So now we're ready to go to Google Docs and we're going to upload it. Upload a file. We're going to find it. Find wherever you saved your document. Open it. This just asks if you want to convert. I usually just click the first one. Start upload. It's uploading. It's ready to go. I'm going to click share. And this is where you set the settings. Right now it's private. So we don't want it that way. We want it open, but we just don't want it public to the web. That means anybody on the web can have it. Eh, I always do anyone with the link, which means they had to come to my blog first to get it. So choose that, and they can only view. Like, I always just choose can view. They can't edit it. They can just view, and then click save. And then this is the link you need. You need to copy and paste this link. So we're going to right click, copy, and then we're going to go over here to our blog. 
And depending on where you're putting this, you're probably going to make a new post. So I am signed into my blog, so I am able to edit. So I'm going to go new post. And then I'm going to title this whatever your post is about, review of literature suggestions. Here is our list of suggestions for when you are writing your review of literature. Now I'm going to do some text here. And I'm going to highlight this text. This is what I want linked. I'm going to click link. And up a box, pops a box that asks for the web address, what URL. You're going to paste that link from your Google Doc here. And you're going to click OK. Save it. Publish it. And then when you view your blog, here's the post I just did. Suggestions, click the link. It goes right to the PDF. That's how you do it. So anytime I ask you to link an article, link a document you've created, a resource, this is the process you have to go through. Watch it as many times as you need because you will be... Um, adding links and documents to your blog a lot. Good luck.